Well, that next year, 2001, you were in Exit Wounds with uh, Steven Seagal and DMX. Yeah. Yeah. What was DMX like on the set? Because I've always heard different... Wait, was Michael Chad White in Exit Wounds? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and right. I was the UN between kept Michael Jai White from hurting Steven Seagal. So, Steven <laughs> Gall, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Because Michael Jai wanted him. Bam! He wanted to put hands on him. For real, for real. For real. For not just put, I don't know if he just wanted to put hands on him. But dude, yeah, we, 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 we had a stuntman die on the first day of shooting. Really? Because of just, the, it was just so crazy. On the day one, stuntman died from a, a sip of a stunt, cracked his head open. And the rumor was, or the story was, the wardrobe was more interested in getting his wardrobe <laughs> back than caring about his well-being. He died on day one. Uh, the story is to go put a stuntman's face literally through the glass for real. I had to shoot the scene with him as his partner. I had to kindly remind him. He would always... You know, oh, you effing thespian. It's the thespian. Throw a punch. Like, inch from my nose. Like, always throwing a, throwing a punch. Like, dude, that's every day. He was throwing a punch at me. To the point where I would remind him, like, I'm supposed to like you. I'm your partner. I'm supposed to like you. You talk about my mom, and that's where, that's where we brought I'm like, dude, okay, mothers, she's deceased. Off the line. So Steven Seagal was a terror. I mean, he knows. Yeah, it. yeah. No, I, I remember. Like, I actually looked up the the clip real quick because I remember I interviewed Michael. We talked about Steven Seagal, and he I'm talked sure Michael about... is less is much more nice about it than I. Well, no, he said that <laughs> that he's never seen anyone aside from Steven Seagal actually really hit stuntmen on set. He was so really he would nice. actually hit the stuntman, broke the guy's face, split his face open from from cheekbone to jawbone. Wow. I mean, I mean, he but, hurt people for real, and Michael was not about that life. Well, no, he, He's he an said, ultimate professional. Yeah, I mean, the way we actually titled this clip that got almost 2 million views was, you know, Michael said, Steven Seagal knew not to hit me in fight scenes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So Steven Seagal hits the shit out of people. Some people go along with it. Some people don't. But he, he cracks people. Okay. And they all took it, pretty much. No one ever got angry. Yeah, no one's people like, got angry. Hell okay, yeah. so you saw someone get angry and see this Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot well, of did times. anyone ever punch him back? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. I mean, did you, I, I did a fight scene with him. We it was okay, no, so, with no problem whatsoever. Okay, so you did a fight scene with him. Did he yeah. did he punch you for no, real? No, no, no. no. <laughs> so he, he knew who to punch. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Oh no, that there would be no more Steve Cigar. Right. But I was there. I'm in the car with this man in his leather pants. We were hanging out and we would have the conversation how it's going to go down. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. You will not. It's like I tell my kids in private school, you will not. You know, it was crazy. Anthony, that was the craziest set ever. DMX, it was just crazy, crazy, crazy. We're talking to Ray, Ray D. Copeland now. We're trying to do a project together. And, he reminded me. But the best thing I remember about DMX, mm -hmm. hanging out with him and the, the battles, him not being on set before, Steven Seagal, just all ego stuff. It, you know, he got kicked out of Toronto because his, 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 his dogs were eating up the raccoons. They couldn't, <laughs> I mean, you know, but he was a lot of fun. I ain't gonna lie. Right. He, X was a lot of fun. Well, and I heard, uh, I think Michael told me that he have never seen the drug use, but he's seen that X would drink. Heavily. Oh, well, he I would just... be a part of that. We would knock out a bottle of Louis. You remember Louis? Yeah. They're like, what, $3,000 Canadian, whatever it was, like $15 a bottle? We would knock that out every night in this room. I was a heavy drinker back then, unfortunately. I did the brown. I mixed the brown with the green. Mm. I need the oil, the hash, and the, you know, that's what got me through. I, yeah. I, 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 um, and I took that habit to a movie called Welcome to Collinwood. Was, I was really, you know, uh, I had to escape because the madness, people are making so much money in the behavior. It's just like, either you're gonna be involved with that or you're gonna just be at the tip of it and then you're gonna, you're gonna deal with it. You're gonna kind of sit back, you know? And the way I sat was I would be in it, but I wasn't of it. 